In this tutorial, we're going to look at how to create a multimedia PowerPoint presentation. And this will be demonstrated using Microsoft Office 2010 version of PowerPoint. This multimedia PowerPoint presentation is going to include background designs, videos, photos, graphics, audio files, and recorded voiceover narration and slide timings. What you're going to need? Well, you need PowerPoint 2010 on your computer. If you have a different version of PowerPoint, uh, chances are these instructions will work perhaps perfectly well, but to a great extent. So I would say go ahead and try it on an older version. You will need a microphone to be able to record your voiceover narration, and you will need speakers to be able to hear what comes out. For best sound quality, I recommend a plug-and-play USB headset with a built-in microphone. You can see a little picture of that down here in the bottom right corner. Or you can use a regular 3.5 millimeter little mini stereo headset to plug into the microphone jack and the headphone jack on your computer. Or just a standalone external computer microphone that will just sit on your desktop and you can speak into that. So, slide one, we're going to look at choosing a design. When it comes to designing your presentation, a good rule of thumb is less is more. Select a simple background design, then keep all your background designs the same. Try to keep your font size big, good contrast, easy to read, and not a whole lot of text. People would rather see videos and pictures and hear you narrate then read a lot of text on your presentation. So let that kind of guide your creativity. So let's jump in. Choosing a slide design. Up here at the top is the design tab and PowerPoint has got a ton of these slide designs. And you can see when you hover your mouse over them it will go ahead and preview it for you. So you can go along and see one that you like. Whatever kind of fits your style. But again, simple is nice. It's all about readability. So if you pick these, I suggest you right click on it because it gives you the choice to apply that background to all of your slides or only apply it to selected slides. If you want to choose it for your whole presentation, apply to all slides. If you're going to mix it up a little with some different slides, background designs, then you'll need to apply it only to selected slides. So we can uh, do that. Let's pick a design. Let's pick this green one and I will right click and only apply it to the selected slide. So there's your design. Chooses your font, your colors, your size. But you can alter that in your text. Let's move on to slide two demonstrating inserting a video. To insert a video you need to click on the insert tab. Way up here in the top left is the insert tab and this you're going to use this over and over and over for all your multimedia needs. So you can insert way over here on the far right is insert video and click on this little arrow and it gives you the choice to get a video from a file on your computer or a video from a website. We're going to go video from file and I just happen to have my little video folder with a little video clip. This is kind of a freebie thrown into Microsoft Office or uh, Windows 7 rather. So I'm going to select it. You can preview it and play it over here if you want but I would just hit the insert button and it's that easy. But it is going to come in and fill up your whole slide. The cool thing is it's got these little grab handles in all the four corners. So grab that and resize this thing when you let it go. And you can grab it and drag it and resize so that it doesn't cover up your stuff. That's it. It is in there. We can play it. It'll take a second to load. And there's sound and the horses are running. 
and this is like a 30 second video but you're not quite done the final step is to set the playback to automatic so it'll play automatically in your video so when you click on when you click off nothing's up here but when you click on your media you get this brand new little toolbox video tools here's the playback button video tools playback and you got the choice how it starts the default unfortunately is on click so you click your mouse and it starts we want everything a hundred percent automatic so we go down here and choose automatically I mean there's all sorts of tools up here you can do to trim your video fade it in fade it out loop it but we're gonna say simple set it to start automatically and you're done let's move on to the next slide inserting photos to insert photos once again go to the insert tab insert tab here's the picture section click on picture and I've got it to my pictures folder and there's a bunch of freebie pictures well, let's pick the penguins and hit insert once again it comes in really big you grab the little grab handle on the corner and resize it and you can move it anywhere you want if you want two pictures go back to insert picture and let's grab the koala bear and again resize the picture and put it in there and reposition it and that is it so unless you're doing bells and whistles like animations which would make these pictures flip in or slide in or jump in with some motion if you do that you're gonna have to set it to start automatically so that nothing requires a mouse click or a spacebar hit so I'm just gonna leave these as blank pictures and when this slide shows up your pictures are already there let's move down the list we've got inserting graphics nope still got the old ones in here same idea go back to insert and you can choose charts clip art and put them in just like we did the photos so let's move on to inserting audio you may have an interview with somebody or some sound recordings from somewhere very interesting or music samples however these could be audio files mp3s or wave files or very common music and sound files and you're gonna go back of course to insert and way over on the right is audio and again we click this little drop down and we're gonna get audio from file well I've got again Windows 7 has some built-in stuff I've got a little wedding march some beats let's throw in some beats and again you can preview it before if you want but let's just throw it in so it gives us this little speaker icon and a little play button controls and you can resize that and move it wherever you want doesn't really matter but if you want some sound to occur during a slide you've got some jungle scene and you want the drum beat playing in the background on that slide there it is now again we want this media to start automatically so again once I click on it up at the top this audio tools appears when you click off that option goes away so click on your media go up to playback and once again it's set to on click we say nope automatically you see there's an option to play across slides you could have like a big long song and it would play slide after slide after slide and just run across slides this is just an example for this one to play a sound just on one slide it's only about a 10 second audio file so good it's gonna play automatically when this slide pops up finally we need to do 
recording our slideshow narration and slide timings. So all the slides go by automatically and you get to say your presentation along the way as if you were presenting live in front of people and just showing your PowerPoint on a screen. So in order to do recording, we go up to Slideshow, and here is Record Slideshow. We want to start recording from the beginning. So we're going to hit that, and it's going to say, select what you want to record before you begin. Do you want your slide and animation timings? Well, yes, we want this to record timings. Narrations, yes, so keep all those checked. And we are going to hit the Start Record button. This thing goes real big off the screen. And we have up in the corner a little recording thing. Right now, I'm on 11 seconds, 12 seconds on this first slide and I am narrating on this slideshow. There's this little advance next button. Once you've said everything you want to say about slide one, you just click the next button and all of a sudden it starts timing your second slide and you do your narration. If you want to read what's on the slide or just comment on it, that's totally great and just speak until you've said everything you want to say about that slide and then you go on to the next and we're gonna go on to the next and as you see the video started automatically because we set playback automatic now you are gonna have to wait till the video ends which is a 30 second video so that's one of the things when you're doing this it's real time so if you just want to be quiet and let them watch the video, that's great. Or if it's a silent video and you want to narrate it, whatever works for your playback. Video's done. Here's our picture file. We'll only keep it up a couple seconds. We'll move on to the next. We'll talk about this slide. Here's our audio file that started automatically once again. And we're going to time and wait till it stops. It just stopped. And finally, we're at the last slide. So we are all done with recording this. And we just stop our recording and hit X to close. Well, once you finish your slide timings and your voiceover narration and stop your recording, it'll automatically pop up to the slide sorter view here and you can see there's the number of seconds that you recorded each individual slide how long it's going to stay up while you narrate and while your media plays you're going to want to test this and make sure it works so you'll go to from beginning play slideshow from beginning and play it and watch it through and make sure everything looks good sounds good and starts automatically and once you're done with that you are ready for the next step, which is to convert this fully automatic multimedia presentation of yours into a video file that can then be uploaded to YouTube or Vimeo and can produce an embed code for you that you'll use in later steps. I hope this has been helpful. And as always, if you have questions or comments, uh, please email us your feedback and we will get back to you.